morning, ESM. I'm Callie, and welcome to Sharknet News. In recent news on the war between Russia and Ukraine, the stakes of the war have been amping up. Russia's nuclear forces are on high alert, and even neutral Switzerland placed sanctions against them. Russia has seized Europe's largest nuclear power plants in the last week. Here's a feature by Delaney. Here we have Graph Lab Studio. Graph Lab Studio is a graffiti studio located in Hotesville. We have events that you can come to where you can decorate a sweatshirt, t-shirt, or canvas. We also have parties. We can also decorate a wall in your house or at your business. To set up for an event, we have to take the caps off of the spray cans and test them out to see if they have enough paint. Then we have to get the sweatshirts from the back and put them onto boards for easy decorating. Next we have to write down the names and sizes for each person and put the sticker on the corner of the board on the correct sweatshirt. We have stencils of logos, sports, letters and numbers, characters, designs, and more. Here we have Danny showing us some different techniques that you can use while you're here working on your sweatshirt. <laughs> When you're done with the stencil, guys, we ask that you put it nicely. Try not to put them on top of each other, because then you're going to get paint on both sides, okay? Next, we have the Jumpman logo, and I'll show you a little trick with this guy. We're going to hold them up here. Now, notice when I spray, I'm not super slow, so I'm going slow. I'm like right here, and I'm just going like this, nice and fast, okay? And then you have it. So if you go slow, it's going to get saturated, and it's moving to the left a little bit, or the right, and then you're going to go like that, see? If this is driving me crazy, I'm just going to grab like a brick wall or any kind of pattern that you guys see, and then you can just come here and add a little brick to your bottle of stencil. You can leave it like this or you can color it in. And when you color stuff in, you can do one color. I'm going to show you what a fade looks like. You're going to do some yellow. Take this color, fade it like this now, really light and gentle. Now, I'm going to outline it. So now I'm going to hold it right back up. Go like this. And now you have a cool outline, okay? And then you want to fade it. Add a second color to it, and then you got a fade. Here are some of the cool designs that people made at some of our recent events. Next up, we have a feature by Alana. Good morning, ESM. I'm Alana, and here's your seven-day outlook for the week of March 6th. Starting off this week with cloudy skies, we see increases in chances of rain moving into the middle of the week, uh, most likely through Sunday and Tuesday. We finish out our week with cloudy skies and warmer temperatures. Uh, be careful of road conditions this week, as visibility can be a major concern with the many rain showers throughout the week, especially Sunday through Tuesday. That's all for today, ESM. Have a great day. Three weeks from now, on March 25th, is the opening night of the Adams Family Musical, presented by ESM's theater department. Information on tickets will be released soon. Tonight at 7 p.m. is Battle of the Classes. Make sure you come wearing your grades colors to show your support. That's all for today, ESM. Have a great day.